Alright. What can we do next? We can we've unlocked a guy named Marshall fuck, I missed that. But I guess he's the Marshal of Armadillo. Ah, so. Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Yeah, that would look kind of weird. Oh, driver's seat, my bad. Alright, now let me in the fucking thing. There we go. Can we stop wasting time and get on with it, please? You're looking what? much better, considering you were almost buzzer food a couple of days ago. I'm just fucking whipping these horses, dude. Uh, That's funny. Uh, so do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say Whoa. I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even <laughs> going to dignify that gibberish with a response. That's pretty funny. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Oh shit. Only been out of Carriage up coming. You better so get out of the fucking way. I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me. Fuck. So who's looking after this farm right now? Doesn't even do anything. Right uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. I kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. God, I'm like drunk at this fucking wheel. I can't drive it. But it looks like we're coming up on Armadillo. As much oh, as I love whipping these often. horses. I know. We talked about it's good to be down here. here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to. Used <laughs> to work with. Yeah, New Austin. Just the off roading this shit right country, now. Where the old ways still hold true. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Alright, I guess we gotta go buy some health. The first uh, health thing, I guess, of this. Fuck. Whoops. No milk for you anymore. Excellent to see you today. All right, Doc, what you got? I'm selling some good tonics if you need them. Tobacco? Much obliged. Hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Okay, then. I guess we get to explore Armadillo a little bit. I'm not going to do it too much, though. 
I am under a time limit, I guess you could say, so let's not fuck around. I can rent properties? Where the fuck is it? Oh, sorry, dude. Should be right. Oh, it must be on the top or something. I don't know how to get there. If I need it, though. I don't think I need it right now. Play poker, too. Do some gambling. Five finger fillet. Or fillet. I don't know how you say that. Whatever. I guess. <sighs> Fuck, I'll figure out how to get that later. Let's just fucking get back to. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, there's the marshals. Yes, I'm that lazy. I can just park that shit and go. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. You got a visitor. <coughs> Who the fuck is that lazy ass? You. Shut up, you. Now what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? There's a man we came to see. I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Jonah, put your gun down. Fucking hillbilly. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yeah, Jonah, get your ass yes, out of here. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking hard. <laughs> What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? No. He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you huh. and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Which is fuck Why, all. What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Uh, 
Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. Finally. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Finally, we have him on our side. Well, hello there. The saloon's this way. 